Hey guys, we're gonna just jump straight in to this reaction video. I grew up in a church. This video discusses a sensitive topic of suicide, but these people are equipped for it. Coma Esther Gogo Nuno Baby Lose River Adrian Ramla Corey Ezra I said I don't this week, I like her. <laughs> I like her. As long as she hasn't got that wig on. Spoiler. It's suicide selfie. Oh, Jesus. They didn't even spell suicide properly. Yeah, <laughs> you can't say that. There is an element of selfishness, but you can't say it's a selfish act. I wouldn't describe it as selfish. Yes. Ugh. Trust him to start talking. Life is something that you're, you're supposed to write. It's one life. Once you close your eyes, what do you see? Darkness. So be happy at the things that you see, no matter how difficult a situation is in life. It's easier said it's than some. Said than done. Some. It's, it is, it is, which is true. I agree. I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. But of course you're not. Life. When would you ever? To embrace life. Not everybody is taught to embrace life. Some people wait. Some people's um, has some people's mental state of mind and life experiences can change and and change their view on life. Like I've worked in mental health. I worked in mental health for a long time. And as you can imagine, I've worked with people who who have um, tried to commit suicide, who have even committed suicide. And it's it, 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 working with them and knowing what their mental state of mind was prior to what they did. It's like. The way that I value my life, they don't see it. like their end is that's their only result. That's where they see an end. After working in mental health, I came to realize that there actually is no difference between someone who is mentally unwell and someone who is normal. Yes. We all have the potential to become mentally unstable. Exactly. It can be wow, that's like some that happens in your life. <laughs> shocked with her lately. Sad or just you know something that you're unable to cope with so at the end of the day i can't really say that there is any difference like right now if anything traumatic happened to me god forbid that will happen to my mm -hmm. enemy you know i could become mentally unwell and you know a lot of people don't have that family support mm -hmm. that love mm -hmm. that uh, people that they can lean on to help it's not only if you become you unwell know, you know, debts bills money work life everything plays into it <sighs> One thing that I, I this, he shouldn't be here for this. Is and should be a generic thing of life, which is you're born into life. Do you understand? So for you to want to take your own life, like I can't speak on anybody's situation, and that's why I said in life we all have situations. No matter how great a situation is, and I think I said this last time, no situation. He's gonna put his foot in it in this. I can just feel it. Person, what you want to do. Well, you know the situation. You always just want to finish. I'm already getting hot. I thought this week I'll give myself a break. To test, to test your character, to build your character, to form, you know, the better you and the greater you. Do you get what I'm saying? So, and and the reason why I said it was selfish so strongly and passionately is because I think of the immediate impact of my sisters, my mother. No, yeah, that's you. They, they don't care. Who thinks of the impact of it when they're in that position? You don't care. You just want whatever pain you're feeling to just go away. You feel that's the only way out. You don't care about anyone else at that point. Oh, please, Lucas. This, why is he here for a topic like this? I imagine myself in fifth. Yeah, you always imagine yourself in everything with your Rolex. You know, one of one of my siblings was to ever take. Oh my God, Junior. Come. Now I engage you. It helped Tina Turner, but it definitely but didn't help me. Because of the people you're leaving behind, there are some people who are on this earth who don't have anybody. Do you understand? Yes. And, wait, let me finish. Wait, wait. Who don't have anybody, who don't have anyone to lean on, who, who, who believe in their head. If I die today, I'm not, I haven't got no one that's going to miss me. That's what they do. Yes. They don't but does that, that make it not selfish? No, I'm not. I didn't yeah, it has an that's element why, of selfishness. I, said, I don't disagree with what Luca said. It is, there is some form of selfish element to yes. it. Yes. Because it's like you've taken the easiest way out for you. But at the same time, I'm also looking at it from another perspective of your mental state of mind. The mental 
state of mind. Everything in our brain is all on ke chemicals and, I mean, on, um, yeah, chemicals. We've got, well, there's everything, there's chemicals in our mind. Babe, we don't, we don't read, she don't try and make yourself overly intelligent, otherwise you stumble with that. become mentally unstable. <laughs> that's why I'm looking at it from that point. Whether it be you lose someone that's dead to you. I fully understand what you're saying, but from looking at it from that point of view, it's kind of like you're casting out it being selfish. I, I'm, I'm fully understanding what you're saying, but let me say, speaking from your point of view, somebody who doesn't have nothing, still seeing it, seeing it as a selfish point of view, there's somebody who just lost their life, and you're just taking your life. But it's not selfish because I don't have no, I don't have nobody else around me that's gonna love me. And, and you don't me. think like that. How dare you? You don't think like that when you're in that. You just want whatever you're feeling to go away. It's a horrible feeling. You don't think about anyone else. That's the last thing. And that doesn't make you selfish. It's just you just don't know what else to do. And that's the only way that you fit, you see as a way out. You just want it to end. It's not anything to do with thinking about people. <laughs> And not only are they absorbing, they're very consuming as well. So you can, you can, like I said, you can live in a reality where, you, like, if you think about it logically, you're hurting people around you. But if you live in a reality where, like Esther said, you're not thinking about that, that, that whole reality can absorb and consume you, and you can be in that. Like, all you're thinking about is this dire situation that you're in. Exactly. Born without both their parents. There's a lot of foster kids, a lot of people, these parents are drugged. Who have been abused. Who have been abused. Mm -hmm. These kinds of things can consume them. And, and life. Stop always putting it down to and abuse and, and drugs. And life. There's people that have got into debt, that have gone bankrupt. That have, please, there's lots of things you know. You just always have to abuse and drugs. It has on other people because there isn't anything else to look at. You're just looking at how your life is being affected, and it's it's got so dire that the only consequence you can see is is taking your especially own life. bullying. So and I was gonna say what, what, what you're saying. Do you know, I was gonna say what you're saying about. Um, like some, somebody else has lost their life. These people yeah. are too I, I insensitive like to be doing a topic like, like this, man. Poverty, this is the ro This is the worst thing you could ever expect. So, I mean, it's easy to say that, that you should really be thinking about it in that sense, but it's a lot harder when you're in it. Like, yes, you thank you. Go, go. go. Voice of reason. I didn't know. They both died from... Um, they were both suffering from cancer. Now, one of the people that died, she was a fighter. She was she, she she was told from the jump that you know it's stage four cancer you will die eventually she was given a time scale now this lady she fought and fought and fought to the very end and unfortunately she died on the thirty first of January may God rest her soul and I, you know what I mean she she's passed away now she was a fighter she left behind a son okay five year old son five or six year old son now she fought she could have taken the easiest way out and committed suicide. Do you understand? Because she knows she's going to die. But instead, she, she had a stronger belief that I'm going to fight this. Though, when it's your time, it's your time. The second person I didn't know of personally, I just know friends of this friends that knew this person. She also found that she had cancer, but she committed suicide. Now, she's left behind two children. Okay? Now, that's why I believe there is some form of selfish element to it. But at the same time, we don't know her mental state of exactly. mind. Exactly. Okay? When you're told by a doctor you're terminally ill... I just didn't say that's a selfish cancer, act. And, and it's and wrong. Got, let's say, yes, Very it's insensitive. Mentally, some people can't fight. Yes. They don't have it in them anymore. They just think, you know what, I'm out. Like, this is how I want to... Wait, this is how I want to go out. No, they don't. No, a lot of people think like that when you're suicidal. You, you don't... Uh, there's no... Uh, you don't think this is the way I want to go out. But at the same time, we, well, we don't I know what's in their mind, what's going on maybe. out there. We don't know how they feel. Yeah, like, God sick. forbid, I'm a mother myself. If I was, God forbid, like, if I if I was ever told that, listen, you know, I might die in this amount of time, I don't know what I would do. Exactly. Yeah, I might, yeah, I might um, feel like, oh my gosh, I'm leaving behind somebody or I'm leaving behind these people. But the reality is, you don't know what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. To say, okay, I'm going to take my life. Because Esther made a comment about saying it's the easy way out. In fact, suicide is quite difficult to get to that. Difficult. Place. But I understand where you're coming from. Like, you're giving up kind of thing. But to commit suicide is another level of power indirectly, yeah? yeah. But that same power that you've taken to say, okay, I'm going to end my life, is the same power that you can use to channel and then say, okay, let me fix up one or two things. However, however... Going to the complete other end. Beautiful girl. It is my life. Why can't I take it if I want Sorry, Is there such a thing as being but... selfish towards yourself? Because if there is, then it is a selfish act towards yourself if you're going to just take your life. You know what I mean? Because saying what you said, you can flip it and use that same power that it takes to uh, commit suicide. You can just shut up. Don't even bother opening your mouth all the time you want to have some fresh air to talk. I understand this, uh, it may be a hard time you're going through and no one will possibly understand. 
but I'm sure you've got loved ones out there and people that don't get the chance to live the life that you actually led, you know what I mean? So I feel that you should take every opportunity as you get and don't kind of take the easy way out. Being selfish about taking It's not the easy way out to like commit a suicide. Like a scenario where most times out of 10 when you see it on like TV or like, I don't know, series or things like that, they will say something like, oh, they've decided to leave and escape because it's the easy way out. The world would be better off without them. So if you're making a selfish decision but it's beneficial to others in your own mind, is that selfish? That's one, in it? And two, like... Let's say, for example, we're talking about like suicide here, innit? You make the conscious decision to kill yourself. But does that necessarily mean that you are mentally stable to make that decision? When you say things like depression, it's very easy to say that, oh, you should go to the gym and use things like that. Mm -hmm. you are, it gets your body active, you, mm -hmm. it lessens your depressional state. Yes. Apparently, that's been thingy, didn't it? But not everyone does that. Yes. It doesn't work for everyone. It's like saying to someone like, oh, your anxiety means nothing. You can't measure that. Yes. Things like euthanasia. Do you know what I'm saying? People that are actually generally suffering. Their comfort in life is not nice. It's not easy. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, yeah, and they're suffering. And they know they're going to die. And, you know, euthanasia in this country is not allowed. Do you understand? Those people, do you know what I'm saying? Because a part of me, I'll be honest, and this is where maybe I might be contradicting myself and where I might you know, end up backtracking and agreeing with you guys in the extent that it's, to an extent, it's not completely selfish because there's certain circumstances that you see people and you're just like, okay, well, I understand why that person wants to take their life. Do you understand? Because, you know, it's, 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 it's the impact it has on their families, the pain and suffering. If he would have listened in the first it, place, it he would have more, never you know needed to contradict himself, but he always wants to have the first off, word you know, in. But at the same time, and then now looking look. at it from a pro-life you know, oh. for, uh, stance, it's life. You, you, you have to cling on to every form of life that you can because it's, it's the one life you have. I feel like with the whole, with the different scenarios, clearly there's circumstances that we probably can't empathise with. So it's going to be so hard to sit here and say definitively, is it or is it not? Mm -hmm. But I feel like you get people who are in a perfectly right state of mind. They genuinely feel, and it probably is for them, and like they're suffering, it is, they're not easier, the, the, the more pleasant way to go, as opposed to staying and, and suffering and people watching you decline. Mm -hmm. you, you can feel yourself being able to live less. Your quality of life is just rubbish. And you say, you know what? I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm content with the life that I've lived. I feel like I've lived enough. My time is coming soon. I feel like even my time is now. I don't feel like I'm meant to stay here for another six months and suffer and wither away and die and rot in, and rot in a bed or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you get people who are not in their right state of mind, who do have an issue, who aren't, who aren't capable of thinking clearly, who aren't capable of making sound decisions, who don't have... The, the people around them to offer them advice and the support and then you have the people who underestimate who, who underestimate how serious it is taking their own life i think it's the golden state bridge in san francisco they they done you know people jump off of that because it's quite it's quite a common place to commit suicide and not many people have lived but the people who did live said as soon as they let go of that bridge they thought shit what have i done because for a split second but that, that split second between falling and hitting, hitting the water, everything, you, you manage to put everything into perspective. And I feel like a lot of people, and the thing is, sadly, you'll never know, a lot of people make that choice because either they're making a rash decision, they're not educated enough. Some, sometimes, maybe they even, maybe they even, maybe they blow things out of portion. They're unable to cope with the situation. And so it's how do you distinguish the difference? When you're being told by a doctor, you're terminally ill, you're going to die. You know, I'm giving you one year to live, or I'm giving you... Why do I keep bringing it back to people that are, that are sick? As much as you may put life into perspective at that point in time, like, you're going to die. No, no, I'm not referring to those people. I'm yeah, thank you. you. necessarily have the most dire situations, who are coping with things that lots of people yeah. cope with. Bad breakups. Um, yes, that, that you thank you. Realistic. realistic. Not everyone, the girls, you can't you keep can comparing stuff to cancer. People, what about bullying? Do you know how much people it's hang themselves because someone, of being bullied? Selfish. It's almost like cyber bullying, even. They look at it that way. You, it's easy to look at their situation and have the feeling like, wow, that's a bit selfish. Like, okay, cool. You've lost your job and times are a bit hard. But you know when you just feel like, wow, you have so much to live for, where some people don't. So that's why I'm saying it's so I can understand why someone may look at a particular yeah, situation and have that. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Personally, I do want to agree. Firstly, that. I feel like there is a level of selfishness that's attributed to, to, to taking your own life, right? And also, I want to say that I feel like social media has, has for me, in my perspective, given people a, a kind of a leeway to make certain... Sensationalised it. Yeah. it. It's yeah. made it a bit more um, selfish in regards to one thing I'm going to say, but in terms of measuring your life 
and so so if I'm going through some, right? I'm not going to be sitting there thinking, okay, there's somebody else going through worse. Because as much as, of course, somebody else is going to go through worse than yes. what I'm going through, you, I'm going through my own problems. Exactly. Like, I can't sit here and focus on, oh, yeah, but they're going yes, through worse. Yes, you it's don't like think that. You were growing up and your parents used to say, oh, make sure you eat your food because they're starving people in Africa. Yes. With all due respect, if I don't eat my food, what? that's not going to change their circumstances. Mm -hmm. It's not going to change the fact that I don't want to eat at this point, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen a couple of stories on, on social media recently, right? In the last year, where this is, these are the circumstances which I would say suicide is, is, is purely kind of selfish, right? There was one individual who killed themselves, I think the day after Mother's Day, right? And then there was one in, individual who before she committed suicide she posted a picture on, on instagram changed all her bio um you know took basically all her information down and then posted a picture and said goodbye like for me that's selfish because in the time now growing up i know that in school right i was taught that the people came in and said look um these are the avenues that you can go down why is Omar acting are feeling, like that you know a bit of like i've been watching him already while he's talking XYZ. just so giving we, looks we, we've been taught that there are avenues that we can go through i'm not saying that straight away hold on i'm not saying that straight away of course yeah you're just gonna do it but the act for me what makes it selfish right is the fact that you would go on social media change your twitter name change your instagram name find a picture hold on wait hold on wait hold on can i say no 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 hold on wait no hold on let me finish let me finish wait let me say why it's not a cry for help it's a different with a, with a cry for help right she killed herself directly after posting that picture you took the if you are crying for help right it's very different when going on snapchat and be like oh i'm feeling down i'm feeling depressed i'm feeling x i'm all the way i'm 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 feeling as if i'm going to do something there are ways to cry for help but the day of you committing suicide well, you, you post wait, 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 the act of changing everything posting a goodbye and then killing yourself for me is it because there is no there is no time there for anybody to help you you've already made that decision shoved it out there to say goodbye and killed yourself that for me is selfish for me in my perspective um somebody taking their own lives is not something that is done in just it's something that I assume is a very serious, very. This is a terrible uh, subject. It's a beautiful task. subject to bring up, but for the these people, life, they're not equipped for it. I just. You need to change your Instagram name. You want to oh, change no, your man. Instagram profile, your, inf your information. You wanted to Google a photo and post that picture. For me, in the time that it took you to do all of that, you could have found help. I'm an advocate for help, and I remember. <laughs> I remember my friend. I remember finding out that my friend took his own life four days before my birthday. There was no Facebook status. There was no Instagram post. He was just gone. So the fact that you had the opportunity to Google a suicide helpline or something or somebody that could actually help you to continue a life but you decided that you wanted to post one last picture for your Instagram followers, half of which the people you don't even know, for me is selfish. Do you know one thing that, and I'm, I'm glad that we actually gave each other time to listen. You gave people time to listen, not we, you. Anybody for taking their life that you get to some extent that is selfish because you were saying basically what I was saying is that, you know. I never said I would. I just said I understood the, the fact that, you know, there's an element. You said I was going to say that. My, my point is, you started off one way and then for me, you went back another way. And in the sense that you went social media, this is where I feel it's not right for you to take your life. Do you understand? None of us here. No, no, I said it sensationalized it, which is what it's, it's made it a thing. Well, either, either way, you said the statement that. If you're gonna, if you're gonna quote something, then quote it right, Lucas. Take your life, all right? Mother's Day and what you just mentioned now. My point is this: you don't say the statements that you said initially and say, "Well, you don't." Oh, he just right. wants to get one over. You talk. I'll get back to the debate and the topic. Stop trying to always get one over on people for claps. This is not the type of subject that you do that with. We're not all the same. Let's be real here. I don't, if I'm going through something, it's, yes, I'm not I'm thinking so about what tired of this. But if I failed my GCSE and I know 60,000 other people have failed their GCSEs, then that's, for me, it's not enough reason for you to not go and take your life because other people are in that situation. And the one, wait, wait, the one thing that motivates people is to know that you're not alone in a situation. Nothing that you go through is 
you're the only person that's going through that. Yeah, but even if you are, you feel like the only person. Even if there are people going through, what you're saying is rubbish. How dare you? You're just saying that from a perspective of someone that's never obviously been through it. You don't think like that when you're in that situation. Who cares? What Omar said, what Adrian said at that little instance was correct. You don't care about how much people are going through what. You don't think that. Oh God, especially when you're so hurt and you're just in that place. The last thing you're thinking about is anyone else. That bit, okay, maybe that bit makes it an element of selfishness, but what can you do when you are in that place? That thing that's going to make you end your life, take your life, because somebody else is going through worse and they're still living, they're still fighting. Well, that's not what you feel like that. That's not what you feel in that moment in time. In that very moment, it might not seem like it, it might not look like it. Well, duh. You can do it. This is like really hurting me because I don't know, man. I feel like, I don't think it's a selfish, okay, to that question. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's selfish. Nobody can really understand what that person's going through unless they're in that situation. Thank you. I've been through <laughs> right? But, um, like, I was going through this condition and I couldn't eat, okay? Let me tell you how it's related. So I couldn't eat, right? And then let me tell you something. When right? she starts talking, look at Esther's face. Everyone already looks tired. I'm sick and tired of this group of people. So disrespectful. Oh, me, I didn't have a choice. I was like very skinny, right? And I used to look at them like they have a choice. They can eat if they want to. I can't. The food couldn't go down. And I was so angry at those people. I was looking at my watching videos. I was angry at the food. Same thing as people who choose to take their life. You don't know what they're going through. Just because to you it's a choice. It doesn't mean that it's not it's selfish. Yeah, I did my thank research. You. We should educate ourselves. I did my research like it makes sense now. Stop it. What these people are going through. Ezra, stop it. Get a grip. Get a grip. I hope you nod your head so much that that wig falls off on the floor and rightfully is used as a mop that it should be. Now I would like you last week. I don't like you now. Go on, Nunu. Same thing as someone who took their life. It's not their fault. I'm not going to say it's they're being selfish yes. in that situation. I was going through a lot of things such as bad mood swings. It was affecting my external life. And just the same way as people who have bulimia, people who have suicidal thoughts, it's affecting their external life. And it is not actually them who are in control of that. Although to us, it might seem that they are not controlling it. I've been in a, an establishment where somebody has tried to take their life. And mm. I've had a conversation with a the partner. They've tried it twice. And I've seen that that person was being selfish. So I kind of, I stick by my point when I say you committing suicide is a selfish act, not in every case. When I spoke to that person, he was literally saying, like, like he used to just, 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 just cut our back, he's playing violin. Like, literally, it, it was bad, it was bad. So it got to a point where I was like, bro, like, what are you doing with your life? Like, get it together. Like, this isn't the end. And he was basically saying, I can't see the end. Like, I don't know where I'm going. I'm in here for however long, blah, 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 X, Y, Z, this, this and that. I'm like, bro, all you're doing right now is piling it on. All you're doing is piling it on, so you can't see an exit. So in your head, that's the end. Bro, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, you haven't spoken to your mum in two years, but she's still out there, bro. Cool, listen, you've still got a brother and sister, they're still out there. Bro. So I understand, yeah, you're going through that, but bro, there is an end. When someone's going through that time, what you should be doing is being sympathetic. Thank you. Oh, but look, look at the yes. other side. Sometimes some people just need a little bit of love. Yes. Just stop judging people and saying, oh, look what you're going through. There's people worse than you. Yes. Concerning undertone about this whole selfishness debate. The reason I say that is um, based on comment that you said earlier when you said. I'm gonna have to clarify. No, no, no. Hold on. But this is, it's the, maybe clarify later. But this is the words that you said. You said uh, th there's a way to ask for help, bro. That is the biggest bullshit I've ever heard in my life. Yes. Because, bro, when somebody is going through something, you can't tell somebody how to scream out for help. Exactly. Number one. People don't know how to ask for help. That's the reason why they're in the situation they're in in the first place. Because if my man knew that he had a you around, he would have come to you and said, bro, I'm going through this. How does man get out of it? But people are in situations because they don't know anything else to do. And also, the reason why I think it's, it's a concerning undertone is because, like you said, sometimes it's just having a bit of education. Having having people in that person's life to be able to say, yo, bro, like, like there's other ways to do this. And a lot of people in this life don't have that. They don't. You, you can't. They can't have those agencies to go to. Like you have to be. You have to be shown these things. Like social media. What we've got to remember. Social media is meant to connect us. But in a lot of instances, it actually divides people. It actually makes people feel more lonely than than connected yeah. to other people. So you you can that that whole thing adds to what I was saying about living in a consuming state. 
where you're just in your own head and you can't get out of that space and you need help and we need to start finding the people to help to be able to get them out of the situation that they're in. Everything that I said was taken way out of context because at no point did I say there was a way to seek attention. But, hold on, hold on, let me finish, no, no, let me, let me, let me, hold on, no, 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 what I was getting at, what I was getting at, in the two instances that I gave, right, there are people out there who take their lives and they don't speak to anybody. There are going to be people that are looking at you like, oh, she's just seeking attention. I'm not. They are going to be genuine people who are in these positions, right? And going back to the thing that you're saying about there's the, we, maybe we don't have a person who, you know, we can speak to. As I said, growing up, many of us, many of us, when we're in school, you have you have people who are dedicated this is making to it uncomfortable to, to be you. Honest. have school counselors. Hold on. Topic you can, hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Just start talking about it. Look now, Lucas is TV sees suicide helpline, right? Here we go, anyway, glasses off. You, know you wanna you blow out your nostrils any good one? What I'm saying is these people who go out of their way to post it on social media and use social media as a platform to say They oh, could go I somewhere else. That's true. If I was going to commit suicide, I still don't understand that when people go to social media to do it. Yes. He's right with that. I thought about that with something else I just heard. No, no, but I'm talking about those two situations. I said the same thing with something else I just saw. These two people killed themselves. A man, a woman, she committed suicide and then the man commit suicide because of her and it was on social media and it's, it, it was on Facebook Live and like just commit suicide is selfish, so right? So if they didn't post it on social media, it wouldn't have been selfish. No, That's what you're saying. Because the person went on, on Instagram and posted it. In the time it took you to Google a picture, change your social media, update all of that, you could have Googled uh, yeah. a suicide. That's the last thing that you should be doing is going on social media and killing yourself on Facebook Live. I don't understand that. And instead, and, and what it does is it, it cancels out the actual people who are using social media because they actually do want help. Yeah. We live in a generation where we see so much things, we're exposed to so many people who are doing it for the pretense and mm -hmm. so many people who may be doing it for the reality that in, in real serious, real serious um, situations, like for example, somebody crying out for help because they are genuinely at their wits end. How can I be able to differentiate between somebody who's joking or somebody who's just trying to pull my leg? And somebody who's actually serious. When it's on when Facebook there are or so Instagram. Many people that's just doing it for the attention. Yeah. Please, like, I want you to be aware that you're saying this is selfish, this is selfish. No, no, I said those two situations were selfish. Don't pull the comments out of yes. context, please. I like the examples you gave, like, in terms of depression, anxiety. Some people look at it like, raw, that is nothing, or raw, they look down upon it because what is depression, what is anxiety? But the reality is... Mental, your mental state of mind plays a big factor in your decision making, okay? It plays the biggest factor in it. I can't completely say it's selfish, and I understand what you mean about social media. I get it. I get where you're coming yeah. from. I don't agree with it, but I get But you're only giving examples. I get you might see as for someone to go out of their way, to go and pull up a picture and say goodbye, and you, you could have seeked help in that time. They have already made that decision. It's not about coulda, woulda, shoulda. Do you understand? They've made that decision, and their decision is, I want to die, and what I want before I go out, I'm going to post this. You, someone who has... A clear mental state of mind. You are sane. Let me finish. Let me finish. You are sane. You are okay. You okay? You 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 haven't wanted to kill yourself. You don't know you that. Don't know that Esther. You don't know, you know that. that no, that's what I'm saying. You can sit there and call it selfish, but that person's mental state of mind, you don't know. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying to you. Be careful what you're saying. That might be their good vibe because that's what their mental state of mind is. They've seen no way out. That is end. We're, I'm a strong enough person. I'm I'm strong. I'm, I be, I like to believe I'm a strong person. But there's certain things I've gone through in life that have knocked me and have questioned whether raw, like, oh, this is long, like, oh, like, is there a way out? There's times, oh, don't get me wrong, we've, I feel like everybody's been there. Do you understand when you feel like raw, like, oh, what, is there going to be an end to this? I'm a believer that um, tomorrow is another day, okay? And I can get up and start again. And there, and for me, for God to allow me to wake up and see tomorrow, then there's a purpose for me on this earth. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people don't have that. But that's also because of my upbringing, the way my mum has raised me. 
the, the family network that I've had around me, okay? But that is why I have that mentality, where some people do not have that at all. Someone gave an example of adoption. People have gone into foster care. People have been abused. You can have a good upbringing and you can still that. face troubles in your life. This is what I mean by the way they're talking so is just getting on my nerves. You, it doesn't need, no, there's no factors into, you don't need to have anything bad happen to you. Something could just happen in life and it could just be like, what? So please, not everything always has a bad upbringing, abuse, or you have to be sick. A lot of people are doing that today, a lot of people do it in life. So that's why. We have to tread so carefully. And another thing I always advise people that sometimes holding things in can result to you becoming even more That's true. unwell. That's happened to me. I held it. I always say it's healthy to cry. Yeah. It's healthy to speak. Because mm -hmm. a build up of things can sick. When I was in, in um, secondary school, I got counselling for, for, for anger issues. Yeah, They told me... If you try this, it's going to get better. I'm being so serious. It doesn't work. I can safely tell you that. They told me that, oh, this will help your situation, make your situation better. I tried it for a while. I, bro, I can tell you, honestly speaking, that shit did not work. So you can't say that somebody could have done this because you don't know if they've tried it. Now, if we, obviously, that's nothing like akin to suicide. But if, if, if you use the same comparison, if somebody's gone through suicide aid or spoken to relevant agencies and they still feel that their life is so dire that they have to Luke has nodded his head like he ever went to anger maybe management. Maybe they have to <laughs> <laughs> There's no in the time it takes them to go on post God school. help me, that please. Decision, that decision has been made already. So I understand and, and I fathom that, bro. So, but so what so I'm so saying, so remember, my point was I understand it. <sighs> My issue is not the suicide, right? I am saying in the act of posting it on social media. We live in a, a fast-paced society, right? Where a lot of people do not focus on mental health. They, as Essa said, a lot of them do not understand it. They're like, what's depression? In Why is act, Omar doing that? I like him, but when he starts suicide, doing stuff like that, it pisses me off. Health. You've gone and posted it. There, there, there are plenty of people who are going to look at that. Oh, whatever. They are going to overlook mm -hmm. suicide. They're going to overlook the seriousness That's because of that, in my opinion, well, selfish well, act of posting it on social media. What I'm saying is, if you die quiet, if you kill yourself quietly, then it's cool. We won't, we won't, we won't look at it as selfish. That's what you just said. You just said. You said it's the act. You said it's the act. Stop that trying to act. Listen. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all this has been out less than 10 years. People have been writing notes. People have been writing wills. People have been getting ready. Do you know what I mean? People with money, people with money have been taking their lives for centuries. Do you know what I mean? So whether you're accustomed to that lifestyle or not, whether you're on social media or not, if I choose to take my life, I'm going to choose to take my life. But coming from a place of um, faith, that is forbidden. For me, that's forbidden for me. You can't take your life. God says... Try your hardest and I'm going to be with you. Tomorrow's a new day. Yes. Wake up, say thank you, God. Thank you, I'm alive. You have your lips. <laughs> There's people in this world that That's don't have lips and live in life. They're enjoying There's people in Africa. There's people in Somalia. They don't, have, they don't know if they're going to eat tonight. And they are enjoying. There's kids playing football, enjoying their life. Like, I've studied psychology, so I come from a psychology um, like aspect. There's people with schizophrenia. There's people with bipolar. There's people with... So many depression in itself can lead to surgery, brain surgery. Do you know what I mean? But a person can push themselves to the point and be like, do you know what? I can live tomorrow. I'm gonna push myself. But I feel like if you say, cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just end my life here. That's your own choice, whether you put it online or not. That's up to you. That's between you and God. That's got nothing to do with everyone else. But I feel like it's selfish for the family that you have if you do not have mental illness or there's not something triggering it. Do you know what I mean? If you have schizophrenia... You I don't know what's yourself, triggering it. Triggering it. Thank you very much. That's rude. Do you know what I mean? But if you're saying, cool, I've got debt, that's why I'm going to take my life. That's bullshit. I you can't say that, that if someone's got debt. Well, Thank you. Oh, no, no. To be extreme, yes. You can't say that. You can't. Experiences huh. So how can you tell Adrian he's wrong for him, but you then saying if you're not then he's wrong, then he's selfish. Someone can slap someone else. She's in tears. So, you know, it, different stuff. That's a lot of things that people, when they're so involved in religion, they seem so, to have this standpoint where everything they say and they think that they're justified by God, then it is coming from like a place of truth. So then you can say anything and it, is, it means that you're instantly right. But what she said is totally wrong when she started going, well, if it's because of this, it's because of this. No, you don't pinpoint what is what is serious to someone and what's not. Who do you think you are? You don't do that. 
However, people react differently to different things. Exactly. So let's respect that. In a general state where everybody is, you know, striving for tomorrow out and you're believing in faith and, you know, uh, tomorrow's a new day. Like you said, Dick, my boyfriend broke up with me. Um, and this is a one that's personal to my, to my to my cousins as well, about the guy, one of the boys who committed suicide after he failed his DCSEs. God rest his soul. I could never begin to imagine what he was going through in his... In, in, do you understand? But ju just, for, just to, to speak about it so we can get a broader understanding of it, how many people fail GCSEs? How many people get into debt? How many people go through the same things? And that's why I use that as an example. There are certain situations where we all go through these struggles. So it's going to be hard for people to be able to fathom whether... But you don't know that could be worse than you having a no money today. Could be That could be someone's life. They don't know when they're ever going to get money again. They probably lose, lost their house. They haven't got anything. They could be on the street. And maybe that's something they can't deal with. Does it mean because everyone's going through words they should survive? I mean, I'm not saying that it's a way out, but I'm saying you haven't got a right to say that this is whole selfish action. Like, you, you, and that's why I wanted you to finish so much. Like, you said, you know, you were suffering from something, and it made, it made me think about it as well. Like, you know what? You can't eat. You actually cannot eat. But there are people that can eat, and they're choosing not to eat. That is going to aggravate you because you know that this is something I want to do so much this is something that is for life do you understand this is what's going to keep me alive and you're choosing not to do that like why do you understand and that's what we need to really be dabbling on like yo different people's perspectives we're afraid of the truth we're, we're more accepting you're afraid of the truth oh if, if a situation is going extremely left let's find you know a, a simple peaceful resolution Where you definitely don't find peaceful like resolution this should happen you know Certain things in life are not that deep, and yes, to the oh, I'm so happy that you realize that. If to the majority is not, like, let's start encouraging these people to Woo! start thinking like the majority, you know, let the help that needs to be there be there for them so that they can start, you know, I think you it starts with home, start with yourself before you feel like you can encourage anyone else, you know, save five pounds for my dinner money or something. I don't know. I don't know whatever reasons, but there are some trivial reasons out there that I've heard, and I'm like, I, I don't understand that. So we're saying here, it is selfish. It's not selfish. This is this is this. This is that. At the end of the day, not everyone that kills themselves is mentally ill. Thanks. Not everyone that kills themselves is going through something that's that bad, and not everyone that kills themselves is 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 in their right state of mind. There are so many circumstances. Now, what we have to accept is that as much as we don't want to sit here and be pricks and call people selfish, at the end of the day, some people need to just get a grip. And with ha having said this, there's certain things you do when you're angry that. When you're not angry, you clock. That was ridiculous. For example, you punch your mirror. At the time, you're like, I don't care, fuck it. You're looking at the mirror and you're looking at your hand in a bandage and you're sitting here and you're thinking, rah, that was hella stupid. But you're still here to have, be able to have that realisation. So as much as we will never know what, what people who successfully kill themselves go through, I think it's very fair to say that some people... Some some people do at that at that time. It's not that they it's not that they it's not that it's that bad or that they're mentally ill. Unfortunately, they make a really bad decision. Mm -hmm. And had they been given more time, had they not had they not had they not successfully done what they have done, they would have been able to realise. Rah, that was silly because sometimes it is, and we don't want to sit here and say to anyone, you are stupid. But at the end of the day, sometimes you can really call it simple, a bad, really silly, stupid decision. Yes. And I feel like most of us can recognise when, okay, Ra, that's unfortunate for you that you couldn't cope with this, and that's unfortunate for you that you couldn't handle this. But at the same time, you can. Is it, I think it's fair to tell someone, do you know what? It's bad, but I really feel like this is a poor decision on your part. I really feel. I really feel it's, it's maybe it's not what you think. Maybe maybe you're not maybe you're not depressed because some people think they're depressed and really they're not. They just can't cope. There's so many things that people aren't able to recognise and we need to accept that some people are somewhat selfish, are making bad decisions. And again, it's not judgment. That's just the that's just the reality of the situation. If you close your eyes, yeah, and you think to yourself, that that moment when you close your eyes, if this is for life, yeah, you see nothing. It's done. Do you understand? There's, you can't see. All it is dark. That's it. Now, we're alive and we can see and it's still dark. Do you understand? You open your eyes, yeah? You can see life. You can see things. You can actually actively know what direction you're going in, how to change or whatever. Taking your life is a decision you cannot come back from. And that's why, yeah, as we can sugarcoat it, dance it up in any way, shape or form. We put it. Whether it's faith, whether it's just natural life. If you take your life, you can't do, there's no do-over for that. Do you understand? And that's why the example that you gave you, you punch a window. You can punch a window. I guarantee you next time, I've got scars. I haven't punched a window since because I used to do it. 
it just hurt my hand. The time that I did it, smashed the window and I've got, I had to go get 16 stitches in my face. You will never see me punch a window again. I can learn from that experience. When you take your life, you cannot learn from whatever hardship that you're in, from whatever situation that you're in. You know, even if you are, you know, going through something that's mental in your head, it's a mental health issue. You know, there's there's people that are there to help you, and it's knowing what avenues to go down to get that. Whether it be counselling, whether it be talking to somebody. Because let's let's not let's not. At the end of the day, it's me personally, and when it's all said and done, you shouldn't want to take your life. You should be pro life. I, I think yeah, there's people on this. On, so you said you punch, you punch window, you won't punch it again. I think there's people who will punch it five times after you. That's number one. Number two, I think I, I, I don't. I think it's a healthy debate to have whether or not um, there's an element of selfishness here. But I think um, sort of Western society has created this 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 um, this spectrum or, or or this environment where where judge, jury, and execution are on problems that really affect us. Because when we're talking about things like poverty. And, and things like that. There's a lot of people always saying, "Oh, there's people suffering in Africa." What the fuck is anybody doing about it? So I don't feel like I don't feel like I feel like we sometimes we sit and we judge things that are like close to us. Oh yeah, this is wrong. This is right. There are a lot of things that are wrong in the world, but nobody wants to do anything about. So I, then I don't think it's right to be then sitting there and telling people, "Well, well, how you deal with this is is terrible because yeah. you should have done it a better way." Yeah, yeah. All of us as human beings should be helping the people who are poor and who are who, who are. And same way, those same then those same people are getting to a stage in their life where where um, they feel like committing suicide, where like they should go get help. Somebody should be noticing that. Yeah. Somebody should be going and giving them active help. And that's why I commend the help of the, the, the work of agencies that help people who are in dire situations because how, how, how sickening is it that we live in a society where people are going through like disgustingly traumatic things to the point where they want to take their life and nobody has fucking noticed. How? How? I do know someone that attempted to take their life. And it was based on the fact that they were going through hardship when it came to their health. And it wasn't one of those things where it was so sudden and so out of the blue that they just couldn't fathom why them and why they were being punished. And when they did try it, they felt so bad after. And so sickened that they put themselves in that position where a selfish position where their mum and their siblings could have been affected by it and would have been affected by it. This is so hard. Do you think it's her? Could be right. They so sad. Looked at me and said, "Why, why, why did I do this to myself?" Okay, maybe it's not. And I was, I couldn't say anything. I was just so, I swallowed that like, my heart, like it dropped straight into my feet, and I just said to her, oh, I'm love. I just said to her, "With hardship comes ease," and. Let's just leave it with God, do you know what I mean? Like, I was in this situation, yeah, mm. where I was so angry, I was so hurt. You know, you know, in your car, that one where you just throw like CDs and all that. I was smashing my, my head on that. I got to a point where I, I was so emotionally hurt that I wanted to remove the pain physically, yeah. Now, five years earlier, if someone came to me and brought that a scenario, like, yo, Weaver, there's one girl, can you imagine she was in emotional pain and she wanted to remove it physically by cutting herself and smashing her head? I would have said, is this girl stupid? That's not even possible. Why are you, why are you gonna do that, yeah? And that's the same thing for these, these people, is like, they're going through an emotional pain, but they wanna end it physically. You cannot, when I say you cannot comprehend, however, everything we're saying is true, pro-life, but most importantly, what Gogo was saying about we're all here together and not noticing certain things. Do you get what I mean? I know some people do hide it, so it's, it's hard to, to to know. Even me, for example, what the story that I just shared, loads of people think, rah, Riva, really? But it happened. Do you get what I mean? And that's the scary thing about life. Things are happening underneath and it's being covered. But with suicide, I tell you, some things in life you will never know until you're there until you're really faced with it. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to, to really say like, yo, yes or no. Thank it you. It can all be 
around each other and not know that someone's suicidal. Mm -hmm. I want you to take yourself an example. How many things have happened to you that only you know about, mm -hmm. that you cry about to yourself when you're sleeping, mm -hmm. that you talk about to yourself in your head over and over and over again that nobody knows? And that's just you. And you've got a list of things yourself. Mm -hmm. So imagine your mum, your brother, your friend and his friend. Think about it. Trust me, like, painful truth, it is what it is. That's why I say check for each other. Do you get what I mean? Check for each other properly, not lightly. Do it from your heart. Spend time with each other. You get these everyday Instagram, Twitter and all that. Link up your bedroom, go sit in his room with him. Talk with him properly. Because one minute's here, next minute is not. I was sitting with my bedroom less than four days ago. And she basically tried to tell me that, yeah, I was looking to do that a few uh, last week or so. But I've been so busy, back check this and all of these bookings and all that, I had hardly even heard of her. So that, that means the next time I would have heard of her is her mum telling me this and telling me mm. that. I don't know if anybody in here has ever experienced wanting to commit suicide. Yes. I personally, I have. When I was like 13, um, like just a short story of it all. Basically, my parents aren't together in it. So, um, obviously, you get issues with your pop seeds, and I was living with my grandparents in Ghana at the time. It took its toll in it. Now, I remember sitting there on the edge of my bed with a blade to my wrist in it, and I was like, yeah, I'm about to do this right now. But then, for those two seconds, it went really silent. And I sat there and I thought about it, and I was like, well, there's things that I want to do with my life. And if I was to end it, the first person I thought about was my mother, because it's me and her that have been riding forever. Do you know what I'm saying? So, to me, again, I've always been someone that's been conscious since I was taught. I ask questions because I wanted to know why me? Why is my life like this? My, my people's parents, like people's dads and mums are getting to pick them up. My mum don't even pick me up. She's at work. I've got to walk back to my aunt's house. Do you know what I'm saying? And things like that. And it takes its toll on you as a kid. But again, like, as a child, you don't know what the escape route is of that. You don't know where to go from that. My grandparents are fully African, G. You go and speak to them about something, it's not that deep to them. So again, it gets it gets diverged. You don't know because they're not aware of it. To them, it's not a big deal like that. I yep. Think we've heard a lot of views about what can drive a person to do it. My question is, can you measure pain? The person that has had their parents shot in front of them and the person that just dropped their chicken burger, fam, you can't... Yeah. You, you know, it, sound, it sounds stupid. The only reason why I didn't take my life that day is because I was looking at my life in a different angle. I had to think about it and be like, oh, do you know what? Let me do this and let me do that. Let me see how I can do this. You're young, G. Sometimes it's attention-seeking. But why is it attention-seeking? Because you need it. There's been a few people on my TO that I've gone and I've, I've seen their tweets. And I'm like, this don't sound right. And I've messaged them and I'm like, yo, like, talk to me. Innit? I know you don't know me, but talk to me. Like, this is not the way out, innit? Say something to me. And they talk about it. Even the girl that I was using as an example, she was talking about her, her, her heartbreak. And how, um, obviously, like, not to go into it, but you've broken up, you're still going back there. You're not going to get over your situation. So it's causing you more damage because you're trying to hold on to it, let it go. But you holding on to it, in turn, it's making you want to do something else, which is, in turn, ending your life. Hold your breath for more than 30 seconds. Your body doesn't allow you to die. It needs you to breathe. Do you understand? So when you talk about people that make certain decisions, like someone that jumps off a building, gee, you've got a while before you drop the floor. You're going to think about it. If you put a pistol to your head, if you don't hit that pistol right, my G, you're going to be awake for a few seconds and it's going to be the worst pain you've ever felt in your life. I closed my eyes. I put my hands next to my ears. And all I could, it was just silence. And I thought, is this what death really is? I have so many questions outside of what death is. So maybe if I die, it's not like a game that man can relive and come back. It's not going to say wasted and I, I was, I'm outside of the hospital. Gee, once I'm out, I'm out. Fucking hell. Fuck. Well, that was saved. I still don't feel like they should be talking about issues. I mean, it's amazing for it to be brought to light, but I just... Oh, it's terrible. It's horrible, man. I don't even know what to say about this, to be honest. Because so much people do it. But, um... As an act in general, I don't think it's fair to... to say when people commit suicide it's, it's a selfish thing because when you're actually mentally there it's just you don't you're just in this place and you don't think about that stuff and call it selfish call it whatever you just it's different it's like a different type of feeling 
It's horrible, man. 